Hello there, Leo, and welcome. This is your daily for Wednesday, September 20th. Do keep in mind time is fluid. And Leo, this is your channel. So anyone who has strong Leo placements can resonate to this reading. Take what's yours, leave the rest behind. Let's see what your divine direction is for the day, Leo, and you have ground. It's time to ground and center your energy. Be truly present in your life. All right, so Spirit is really urging you to live in the present moment, Leo. Your other divine direction for the day is birth. This is a time of new beginnings. Embrace the new life with open arms. All right, so I feel like something is coming into your life, into your energy right now. It definitely looks like something is birthing of new energy, new beginnings, new life. I feel like spirit really wants you to sit in the energy of grateful, grounded, and truly being in the present moment. You know, a lot of the times we find that our minds are more in the past or more in the future, no matter when anything is happening to us. Even if something new comes into your life, you find yourself, well, how will this be five months from now? Spirit's like, no. Allow the new cycle, allow the new birth, allow the new life, allow the new beginning to come into your life without needing to know what it's for and truly be in the present and embrace this new beginning. So let's see what your affirmation energy is for the day here, Leo, and get some more details of what energy you are working with. Some of you may even be doing some grounded meditation, walking out in the grass, things along those lines. So you have my inner compass knows the way. Exactly. Okay. So it looks like something new is coming your way around this time, whether it be a new cycle, a new person, a new experience, a new opportunity, new communication, whatever the case may be, listen to your intuition. Your inner compass knows the way. Card number 22. Look for the number twos around this time. I feel like spirit is really wanting you to sit in the energy of knowing, of embracing what comes your way without needing to know all the answers or needing to know exactly where it's taking you, right? Some of you, there's an emphasis around a compass, um, could be symbolic for some of you. Let's get you one more and see what else you're working with for the day. And you have, I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. Some of you may be taking up some crafting, um, or should be taking up some crafting. Some of you, this could be what is birthing into your life. You are actually making new things and, you know, some of you may put it out there, sell it, put it on sale, whatever the case may be. So I feel like for a lot of you, there is something new that's coming into your energy. And I do also feel like you may be having some new ideas around this time. The when, the how, the why is unneeded right now. The doing is what's needed right now. The present moment is what's needed right now. So if any of you are very crafty or creative artists, whatever the case may be, maybe some of you are even doing some sort of rituals, Spirit is saying, continue to do it. The more you sit in this creative energy, the more you will continuously manifest new cycles, new beginnings, new people. So let's see what angel is with you for the day here, Leo. And you have the Angel of Love, card number 20. So some of you, there definitely could be a new beginning revolving your love life. Some of you may have been very uncertain about where your love life is going, right? My inner compass knows the way. Um, there definitely could be a new cycle for you in your love life. Some of you may have even manifested someone here. Some of you definitely may have manifested love, manifested an offer, your other angel is the angel of encouragement, the 1111 card. Okay, so I feel like there is a manifestation in order, especially with my craft. I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. I feel like you are manifesting something right now. 
It's either a new beginning, a new offer, a new job. Possibly some of you are even manifesting to have a child. Some of you are manifesting something that is revolving around a child. Some of you are actually just manifesting a loving connection. Spirit is wanting you to know right now it's working. The energy is working. What you're doing is working. Your inner compass knows that, but you may not 110% be fully clear on it because, you know, the mind likes to think of the future or the past. It's The mind is the hardest to sit in the present moment. And I feel like whatever you've been working on or whatever you're going to decide to work on, it's going to come into fruition. It's like spirit is giving you clarity through this reading. Like, hey, Leo, it's working. What you're doing is working. Keep doing it. Just because maybe you, because especially with the angel of encouragement, that's an energy to keep going. So this is an indication that you may not feel like what you are manifesting or doing is up to par of what you want it to be. But spirit is saying, keep putting the work in, keep going, keep making those candles, keep painting those paintings, keep getting yourself out there, like things along those lines. You're creating an energetic footprint with whatever you are trying to manifest and like spirits like cheering you on here and they want you to keep it up and keep it going because you may not be able to see it now, but it is going to bring a paradigm shift to your life and bring in someone and or an elevation to a loving connection that you've really been hoping for. This is connected to something you've been manifesting or working on or crafting creatively. So let's see what we have in the quantum oracle and then we'll get your tarot theme cards and see more details. So you have the energy of eight consciousness card, happy success, beautiful. So this card has their hands up. This card has their hands up. I feel like you are definitely going to come into a win and it's going to feel like power because I feel like you're going to see the connection to your power of manifestation to what comes in or whom comes in or what happens to you here. We have energy planning and action. There you go. Spirit is saying, keep doing what you're doing. It's working. Ooh, I don't know what y'all doing, but y'all doing something <laughs> or you're going to start to do something. And you have consciousness card of victim mentality number seven. Yes. Okay. So this is where I mean where the mind likes to sit in the past or the mind likes to sit in the future and think of what will happen instead of just embracing what is happening. So I feel like something's going to come your way that it's giving me a little bit of a too good to be true feeling where you may start thinking why this shouldn't work out for you. You know, when really good things happen to us and we're like, eh, I don't believe that's for me. Let's let's really see if this is really happening for me. Like there's no way I'm manifesting love with all I've been through. Or there's no way I'm getting pregnant after all of the missed pregnancies I've had. Or there's no way I'm getting this job when I never get lucky with finances or career. You're going to come face to face with your own victim mindset. And I feel like you may find yourself in a little bit of a push and pull with this energy. But it's not too good to be true. It's here. It's happening. And you created it. But this is what happens when people get manifestations and people get creations and things take form in their life. They treat it like the things in their past and they give it the same energy and they mirror off their past and then in turn create new opportunities to then become very familiar to past experiences. So this is your moment of recreation in the physical and reality as well as to when things come your way. Instead of automatically second guessing, well, what did I do to receive this abundance? Or how did this happen to me? Just embrace it. That's it. Just embrace it. Because those thoughts of second guessing can shift things. Thoughts are very powerful. I want to clarify the conscious card of victim mentality. And then we'll get your theme cards. There it is. With the energy of fear. So not letting those fear-based belief systems get to you. And you also have the energy of people. Oh, kindred partnership. 
All right, so now you have people with love. So I feel like for some of you, this is around some sort of connection or some sort of love situation where you're just like, yeah, commitment doesn't happen for me. Baby doesn't happen for me. Secure, stable men or female, they just don't come my way. This person I'm just going to be stuck with forever. Like there's just some sort of shift energy here that I feel like is either happening with a person or because of a person. There's also an emphasis of a rainbow, a lighthouse, and hot air balloons in this card. So I feel like there definitely could be somebody that's coming your way for a lot of you. And it's almost interesting because I feel like for some of you, you have been manifesting love or manifesting a stronger bond. And it's like once it comes, it's faced with fear from you. Um, so some of you may have to... Ooh, look. A rainbow. Sorry. I just point out the rainbow and then the rainbow. I have my little rainbow catchers or my sun catchers up there. And it caught a nice rainbow on the desk. Okay. Well, that's what I feel. I feel like it's going to feel like you're pushed and pulled with having faith or being comfortable and sitting in fear as you may have normally always done or were used to doing. But let's see what your tarot theme cards are because I feel like for a lot of you, you could be in the process right now of manifesting someone or something connected to someone. And I want to see what the energetic details are from the tarot because they're going to give me some more of like time energy. So, I mean, never mind. There you go. Love abounds. The Ace of Cups. So for a lot of you, I feel like um, new love is coming your way or something new that you're going to love. Um, I feel like for some of you, you definitely um, have been trying for a baby or have been wanting. Some of you have been just wanting to hear your person tell you that they love you. Or some of you can come into a love confession. We have take the lead with the three of wands. Nice on planning and action. And we have embrace with the world. Y'all told you arms out open. Embrace it. Embrace this person. Embrace this new life. Embrace this new beginning. Embrace this new energy from whomever. Embrace this new person. Just embrace it. Because as you embrace it, you see how, okay, in this card, this is the world, right? So in the world, you see the heart chakra. And if you see the heart, it has roots coming out of it. And this person's heart chakra is lit up gold. So this is when you truly embrace what is happening for you. And you op and you embrace new life with open arms. And it's so interesting because I keep going back on the symbolism of the fact that two, now three of these cards have their arms wide out open. So, um, you know, I feel like for some of you, I know it's super random, but some of you may get a lot of hugs from someone or this person really likes like hu hugging you or cuddling you or something. Flyer out with the three of pentacles on the ace of cups. Some of you may meet somebody from someone. Others of you with the three of pentacles, I definitely feel like you are very compatible with this person. You work together with them or your person could just be a lot more understanding and a lot more compromising. And, you know, especially if you're in a connection it could even be a platonic connection. Things go through phases, you know. Not everybody super talkative or super loving or super emotional and open 24-7. So I feel like for some of you, you're coming out of a maybe a bit of a tense or stuck phase and into more movement. And I feel like as the movement comes, especially if you're in a connection, I feel like you're questioning the movement. Like, why are you giving me so much love all of a sudden? And Spirit's like, just let this person love you. This is what you've wanted, right? So now that this person is giving you love, if giving you commitment, is giving you attention, you're like second guessing why they're doing it. Spirit's like, just embrace it. Just let it happen. There it is. High Priestess, card number two with listen. And on embrace with the world, bringing in this new beginning. You have giving and receiving the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful. All right. So I feel like for some of you, you could move into some sort of business partnership. It could even be romantic. There could be romance involved. There could just be a strong sense of love and care for each other. 
But I am feeling for some of you, there could be some sort of romantic energy between the two of you, whether it's acted on or not. I feel like there's somebody around you where there's money-making situations involved, that there could actually be romantic situation involved. And I feel like for some of you, you are going to finally connect stronger with this person after Three of Wands, High Priestess, possibly being pulled back in that department or not necessarily taking any action at all. I feel like there's a readiness of finally taking action on something. And for some of you, this person could be around the workplace or something that has to do with money. It doesn't have to be work. It could be an institution. It could be school. It could be like a church, wherever. Um, others of you, I definitely feel like there is going to be a lot more generosity from the person that you are connected to this week. Spirit wants you to just let your higher self guide, reciprocate back, because when... You finally get the love or the affection that you've been wanting from someone and then you push it away because you had to wait for it. Then you then again create another cycle of distance and tension and waiting for the love to come back around. So this is your chance to embrace the love that you are receiving so you get more of it. And so it continues. So I feel like for some of you, you've been very confused or up in the air of like, why does this keep happening? Why do we keep having these cycles of really, really good, and then really, really bad, or like really, really loving, and then really, really detached. It's because the loving and the good cycles need to be embraced more. Others of you, I definitely feel like there's a new person coming in, or there's a new cycle with somebody. But when I tell you a new cycle, I don't just mean like, oh yeah, you two talked Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, now you're talking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, I don't mean that. I mean, y'all went from in a stage of stagnancy or distance or detachment or dating or feeling things out. And now there's like an evolution to the connection where there's more open heartedness. There's more commitment. There's more in the wheelhouse of stability. So some of you, you could just be manifesting in someone who's serious about you or somebody who's more serious or more committed like energy. So I do have another random message. And I feel like for some of you, if this doesn't have to do with a business partnership where you are in a romantic situation or partnership platonically and going into business with each other, um, I feel like if that is what you've been feeling to take plan and action towards, I feel like Spirit wants you to know it's going to be very beneficial don't let scarcity, lack, or victim mentality or fear get to you. It will be a good partnership to roll with financially. And others of you, I feel like you could definitely meet somebody who gives you a business opportunity. I just feel like it's something random. I was like, oh, wow. Who would have thought? Meeting that person would have got me a job. Like, something like that. So this is what I have here for you, Leo. I feel like you're coming into some energy of receiving. So I feel like your energy has been very giving, 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 giving. And I feel like you're sitting in the energy of the present moment, knowing what you've been creating. And it's like uh, this universe, spirits, the energy is ready to give back to you, you know? There is no such thing as getting without giving. It's just universal law, right? So I feel like for a lot of you, you may be learning that, you may be understanding that, you know? Like, that's something I learned a long, long time ago. Like, even when I first started my channel, you know, I started my channel on, well, I started my tarot journey, I guess you could say, on Instagram, and y'all, I did like, I want to say at least 500 free readings, free readings, you know how much energy I put out there for free, so think about it like that, sometimes you gotta give to get, and it doesn't mean that you're lacking in any department, it doesn't mean that you're wasting your energy, or wasting your time, or wasting your efforts, it just, you're just, moving the energy and that's something that you have to understand and I feel like that's why my inner compass knows the way 
is coming through here for you. So you definitely got some new vibes coming in. In terms of zodiac signs here, you have Pisces, Virgo, Energy. Let's see what we have as your ending oracle from the Astro Star Co's Leo for the day. I feel like you're going to see so much of your spiritual power, especially with the High Priestess in the heart of the reading. You're going to see how energy works with you. I feel like this is a big moment where you're going to see the workings of your magic and your energy. So let's see what your ending oracle is. You have Venus with card 21 with Beloved. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, whatever this is, you start off with the Ace of Pentacles. So you're going to love it. It's going to be something that you love. It's going to be something that makes you feel really good. So, card 21. Some of you could have been born on the 21st. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. The world is also card 21. So, coming through twice here. Here we go. I'm going to read this interpretation from the book here, Leo. This card says, Venus symbolizes your heart, romance, and the creative process. It's what attracts you, what you value, and how you value yourself. Venus is inside Earth orbit and takes 224.7 Earth days to complete the journey. Venus rules Taurus and Libra and can be the on can be only in the same sign as the Sun or in the two signs on either side. Venus is one of two planets who appear to rotate backward, an apt symbol for your heart's unique path. It rotates so slowly that one side is always boiling, the other side cooler. Love blows hot and cold. Your action with this card is soften charm and open the heart. Investigate how you can make the situation more beautiful, more fair, and lovely. Remember this Venus in truth. People are fascinated by those who find them fascinating. Use diplomacy and seduction and let others come to you. Engage creativity, generosity, and affection. Your gift with this card is Venus encourages a loving heart to heal your own heart and become a true Venus in beacon to the world around you. Develop what the Buddhists refer to as Maitri, loving kindness, friendliness, and active interest in others' well-being. Yeah. And I feel like I've been saying that the whole time. We're just embrace it. Just open it. Just let it, let it in. So the fact that Venus came in with the beloved energy, literally reiterating what I said, I love that. So, thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. I love y'all so, so very much. Um, pay attention to the number three as well. It's a like calling out to me. So, you have twos, 21, and three. Um, so, thank you, Leo, for being here and for watching. Do not forget, for the rest of the month of September, we do have the Blessed Bracelets and the Big Angel Wing Keychains as the free goodies for any kit purchased off my Etsy shop. Um, the Blessed Bracelets will stay for the month of October. But this is your last chance for the next two weeks to snag yourself one of these big angel wing keychains. I will try to bring them back in the upcoming months. But for October, there is going to be a different gift. So thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. You can find the link for that down below for my Etsy shop. I'll talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Have a great one. Bye now, Leo.